What's up, Dog Nation? It's your boy, Coke Gotti. And I'm coming to you right now in this video to try to end the debate on this fucking Jacob East and Jake Fromm and now Justin Fields debate. Because I'm sick and tired of it. And a lot of, us, a lot of us dog fans are sick and tired of this debate. Look, all of us was riding with Easton when he came. All of us was. We all was hyping him up. None of us were saying anything bad about Easton when he came to Georgia. And then even last season, even though we still seen a little bit of flaws, he was a freshman. A freshman quarterback. With no offensive line. And receivers who kept dropping passes. And a run game that couldn't get started because we had no line to block. We all still believed in Jacob Eason. Because he gave us reason to. The Missouri game. The Tennessee game. Which, even though we lost the Tennessee game, due to defense, I don't know why the fuck you got Lorenzo Carter's big ass behind all those guys, behind the receiver. Why wouldn't he be in the front? But regardless of all that, if the defense did their job, Jacob Eason would have had the game winning touchdown, game winning drive, all that. Jacob Eason. Jacob Eason has given us reason to. He has the arm. He has the arm. He's very fucking good. You got to get him developed, though. Jake Fromm looking good. But you can tell that the playbook, I ain't going to say he doesn't know it. I'm just going to say it's not opened up yet. Not, not, I'm not saying it's not opened up because of him personally. It's just not opened up yet. Maybe that's because we haven't had to, considering we've been having blowouts all season. But I'm just saying, <clears throat> Jake Fromm's looking good too. He makes mistakes. He has a couple of his interceptions. When you watch the pass, you're like, what the fuck was you thinking? Yes, he makes some dumb passes. It's okay, though. He's a freshman. A freshman quarterback does that. He just better be lucky that our line's blocking and our running backs are running and our defense is fucking elite. Because if not, he probably would have already been benched. Uh, now we got Justin Fields, who I believe actually is going to be a beast-ass quarterback. You know, I'm not a fan of dual-threat quarterbacks, mainly because... When I look at quarterbacks coming out of high school or coming out of or playing in college, you know, I'm looking at their potential for the NFL, their potential to be an NFL quarterback. But Justin Fields, though, when I watch him, I feel like he has that potential. Yes, he, he's very mobile. He can run that ball, but he has a cannon of an arm. And from what I've seen, you know, he's a pretty smart passer. We'll see when we get to the next level. And, you know, as a freshman, I wouldn't expect him as a freshman to be able to come out here and looking like a pro. Freshmen make mistakes. You have to develop a quarterback. But I'm pretty sure, I, I believe Justin Fields will get developed to a great quarterback and be one of the greatest quarterbacks ever played at Georgia and will move on to the NFL and actually possibly be a solid quarterback in the NFL. But let's end the debate. We're 6-0, and number four in the country. On Saturday, we're getting ready to be 7-0. and why are we talking about starting quarterbacks or who should start or this and that? Why are we talking about that? We're 6 and 0. Everyone in the everyone in the whole country knows we're 6 and 0 for one main reason. The main reason we're 6 and 0 is because of our defense. If our defense was not playing on that level, we would not be 6 and 0 right now. You know that. You know that. If our defense didn't stop Brandon Winbush and force a fumble in the Notre Dame game, they was in perfect field goal range to kick a field goal. Yeah, I don't know if he would have made it because it never happened, so we don't know. But we know where, with where they was at on the field, the chances of their kicker making that kick were pretty good. And we would have lost 22-20. to 20. So the defense won that game. Everything else has been blowout. So, I mean, I, I mean, we've seen what the defense has done, but I can't say nothing bad about the offense or nothing. But the defense is what is winning. That's why we're 6-0, the defense, point blank period. The defense and the fact that we have a run game this season. But the defense number one. There's no need to talk about from Easton. It don't matter. I don't care if they went and got Steve Spurrier right now, at his age right now. I don't care if they put him in there. Even though he's a Georgia Bulldog hater, hater and he's a fucking gator to the, to the fucking core, I don't care if they would put him in there. If we're 6-0 and and number four in the country and playing like how we're playing, I don't give a fuck who is playing at what position. They're doing their fucking job, and that's all that matters. That's it. That's it. That's all that matters. Let's stop talking about... Fucking Frommer Easton. Let's stop talking about Fields coming in next year and 
any of that blasphemy about another freshman quarterback coming in and beating out two experienced quarterbacks for the starting job of what is soon to be the SEC East champs, possibly, in my personal prediction, the SEC champs starting a quarterback job. Fields is not doing that. Possibly getting some play time as a freshman, but I say that's only if Easton transfers right away, which I doubt he will. I feel like Easton's going to stay next season and then transfer out if he's not a starting quarterback by that time. But let's end the debate, yo. We're six and zero, about to be seven and zero before going into the bye week. Let's just let's just let's just enjoy this while we while it's riding. Let's enjoy this ride while this motherfucker's moving because we all remember how last season went, yo. Go dogs.